Hello everybody, uh, today I will show you how to use Java and uh, RxDx on the BeagleBone. You can see the board I just received a few days ago, it's an A5 and I'm playing around with it, I uh, love it. And uh, I will show you a very simple um, Java class to detect, uh, to list the serial parts available and we will compile it on, um, on a PC, I'm using um, Ubuntu 11.10 uh, uh, at 64-bit uh, and then we will deploy it using also RxDx and uh, we'll detect uh, uh, serial ports connected to the um, BeagleBone. So first of all the setup is we show you <coughs> I just connected my BeagleBone to the router uh, I used uh, an Ethernet cable you see this cable goes out from here, it's the Ethernet port of the BeagleBone and goes in in uh, uh, the back side of the router where I have uh, four Ethernet ports and uh, <coughs> also uh, I have a USB charger here that I use to power the, the board there are two options, uh, you probably know you can either power it through the mini USB cable or through the uh, 5 volt uh, power supply here. This is time. There's a small difference in um, uh, frequency for the microprocessor, but uh, well, it's not really small. The difference is quite of a different a difference in uh, frequency. But uh, for this purpose, uh, for the purpose of this demo, it will it will be okay. So <clears throat> now, first thing we need to do is to find out on the network our uh, BeagleBone so that we can connect. To do that, since I connected it to my um, router, I used the admin interface of uh, my router and I checked the DHCP table and then I can check here. You probably see my BeagleBone got the address 103 from uh, uh, my DHCP range. So first thing we want to do is eventually to check if uh, it responds on that DHCP address. Obviously I booted uh, the BeagleBone with the micro SD card uh, with the Linux distribution that comes with the board and that also has a tiny web server on port 80 so we can test it here and sure enough it works so it is connected to the network. Now, <clears throat> since we have a connection, what we want to do is we want to create an SSH session with uh, uh, the, the board so that we can send Linux commands. So first, first thing is I have two um, terminal tabs here. I will use one remotely on the BeagleBone and one locally. Now, let's connect SSH. I'm connecting as root there so this is the uh, BeagleBone asking for the password the default password for root is root I changed it but well if it is first time you connect you will use root and I'm in I'm in the home directory for the root user and uh, if you didn't do it yet, you need to install Java for this uh, uh, test, this experiment. And uh, it's quite simple. If your BeagleBone is connected through your router or whatever to the internet, uh, then you can install packages quite easily. I'll show you, I'll list them first maybe. Um, let's see everything which is related to Java. It doesn't take very, really long. And there you see it's available as a package, the OpenJDK 6. Um, you can install it quite easily. This way, I'm not doing it now because OpenJDK, because I already installed it. However, it takes a little bit, it downloads the file and then installs them in your system. Once you're done, 
you want to store the rxdx libraries in this way and uh, it's quite simple no there i had a couple of mm, small issues uh let's show you first thing is uh, my java runtime environment binaries were not included in the path so i found it was quite handy to have them in the path so that when you type in java it actually uh, executes without looking for a specific directory or whatever to do that uh, you can modify the edge profile uh, uh, file uh, you can use uh, i'm using um, uh, filezilla uh, over uh, ssh to connect and transfer the files and that allowed me also to to modify this file which is the edge profile on the beagle bone and see at the beginning you have the path and i added this directory here this is because uh, um, that's where the java uh, runtime environment is installed in fact after you update the, um, the path this is where the java command will be executed um, obviously i didn't install the jdk so i don't have a java compiler this is still fine i don't want to have a java compiler on my beagle bone i will compile on the pc and then transfer the compiled files on the beagle bone that's the beauty of java after all no so <clears throat> a second thing is uh, um, rxdx well one thing i found it was missing i don't know if it was just me or whatever but um, it's missing the jar uh, rxdx com jar uh, file which is the library itself um, sorry that the java part while the the compiled part the, the architecture specific specific files that are installed and uh, they are in uh, usr lib uh, jni so another thing that i had to do was to find the the jar I already had one on my computer but you can find it on the cloud hopper website at this address here if you scroll down you have there this is the 2.2 uh, which is the one that is used also uh, on the on the beagle board on the beagle bone pardon and uh, here you can download any architecture it doesn't matter because the only thing we need is the jar file which is inside of the distribution and it's not architecture specific okay good so now what we want to do is we will just create a small uh, java class locally on our pc so that uh, uh, we can test on the rxdx and then transfer the class on the beagle bone and test it there so i prepared a very small um, java class it's a very very simple it just lists the um, com ports available uh, the code is uh, quite a standard uh, code for uh, rxdx that you can find uh, in the web just copy paste that would do and uh, there are two functions one is just uh, cycles through the available list ports with the com port uh, identifier and uh, then it just gives you the name here and then that's basically it here name and the type i have another function here that decodes the the type and obviously i included well you basically need those hmm? so let's compile it locally on the local pc you see we are I created a directory test and i added rxdxcom.jar and my library that's the oops not really visible a bit better hope that's the compiled uh, architecture specific library that it's needed 
this is already installed on the Beagle Bond with uh, the installation of uh, RxDx. So, first of all, let's compile. I will specify the class path of the jar. Uh, there's another option you can put it actually in the, um, under your runtime environment uh, in libx that you can check uh, the um, cloud hopper instruction for the installation however i prefer this way because in this way i can have multiple versions at the same time if i need to do tests so we specify the class path and then we just compiling so i just put test.java there we go. Um, we want to test it and uh, we still need to specify the class path, but this time we also need to specify where the libraries are. Java library path. They're there. And we just say test. Oops. Obviously, you need an equal here. Good. So, uh, first of all, you see there's a warning here. This is normal. With this version of RxDx, uh, um, the jar was compiled with a previous uh, version. Uh, it's just a warning. It works. No problem. And here, at least the, the serial ports, I just have one as uh, TTYS0 uh, on my uh, Linux machine. Fine. Now, what we do is we transfer this into <coughs> the BeagleBone. To do that, um, I like to use the FileZilla, I uh, find it handy. Uh, just create a directory under uh, home root. We call it as well test, maybe. Okay, we are there. And we need to transfer, um, we need to transfer the, oh, well, I closed it, no problem, test. The class we need to transfer also the uh, jar file fine I'm not transferring the library because uh, that wouldn't work it's a different architecture so now back to our beagle bun we're there we have now a new directory which is called test So it will not work, I will show you, but it's, I think it's interesting, and I will show you how to fix the thing. So Java, we specify the class path, dot jar, and then we specify the library. Um, yeah. Library path equal dr and usr lib jni test. What we get is exactly you see there is a mismatch in the version. The reason is here I have a Java 6 1.6 and here I have Java 7 1.7 so we can fix this it's not a big problem when we compile the uh, class path uh, okay we have everything when we compile our class we just need to specify to source and target target Java 6 uh, oops target Okay, another warning, we don't really care, it works. So I transfer now the class. Test class. Okay. Overwrite. And if I go back to my beagle bone. Sure enough, it works. Exactly the same kind of warning that we had on the other architecture 
and it detects what? It detects this uh, um, USB to serial adapter that I connected here and it's visible here as TTY USB 0 serial. I'm sure you can use this to well, I will do some other experiments and we'll probably pause some more if I find something interesting. And what I'm into is if you recognize that this is a WeFly uh, module, I'm trying to um, to have a Wi-Fi connection from the um, Beagleboard, Beaglebone using this tiny device that I previously used on my Arduino. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.